Yep. This what happens when you had the wrong mechanic fix stuff. Hey, I keep it 100% on this channel, y'all. Now I gotta try to make it home, guys. This thing, this this thing been acting up, man. Mechanic was supposed to do a full overhaul. Um, I think it's a throttle body and a, um, I want to say a plug going out. Something, something ain't right. It's just not, it's just not right. Um, check engine light came on and, uh, he had this van long enough to have everything fixed right. So we did, uh, work today with the van, but yeah, as y'all see, having issues all right y'all so we are back outside but yeah we won't be working in a van today so i hope y'all seen that that number right there excuse the noise people uh 102 it just broke a hundred thousand miles but like i said it's been sitting um right now i think the starter is out So, yeah, so I think the starter out, and I think whatever the guy probably rigged up uh, popped out because yesterday uh, when I was doing uh, spark delivery, I was on the hill basically, um, like, in the, like at a high angle, like, like this. So um, it just started, to, you know, uh, misfire and stuff. So he might have rigged something up in there. Or he might he might have didn't do the tune up, uh, which was axed. Um, as y'all see in the beginning of the video, the van was driving quite great. The other night, um, we did get a couple of photos of a couple of deliveries we did. We also did a couch move yesterday, so we did make money in the van. But yeah, we're going to end up spending more money. Um, so, I just wanted to show you guys that, uh, let this be an educational experience, uh, <laughs> a lesson, experience, a lesson, that van just broke 100,000 miles, but it's been sitting. This van that I bought a couple of years back, $1,400, made, excuse me guys, made me a lot of money, it made me a lot of money, I sold it end of 2021 my boy he still got that van and got 342 on it right now only thing he had to do uh was a fuel pump and you know you got to start your standard tire changes and your oil changes and your tune-ups and your brake changes and stuff like that but that van nothing major happened to that van yet and i bought that for fourteen hundred dollars from a plumbing company out va it was his fleet vehicles and uh, he, had, he had six fleet vehicles lined up and he was upgrading to those Nissan mid, um, I don't even think, no, they wasn't, that wasn't even a mid top. It was a regular Nissan cargo vans. It might've been mid, it was mid cause Nissans do the mid and the high top. So it was the N300s or something like that. He had them lined up over there. He's upgrading it. He had uh, the decal man coming to put his logos on there. And the van that he had parked to the side was his Chevy 2500s. He had a couple of 3500s over there, but the van that I see, I wanted that van because it was a 2500. Um, it didn't have none of his logos on it. It was just like a white van. Uh, it did have some paint peeling off. As, as y'all see, I just threw some plastic dip over there, blacked it out, blacked out the hood and stuff. Um, <laughs> and that van made me a lot of money, guys. No major breakdowns. We had auto parts contracts on there. Uh, we 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 did some work. We moved couches and stuff off of uh Angie List. When I was on Angie List, guys, I mean we 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 made some money with that van for sure. Um, that post that I just posted, it was during COVID. I was wishing contractors you know the best hopefully they make a lot of money and stuff that was during a rough time nobody knew what was going on for real uh, especially in the contractor world you know contracts cutting back on pay and days and stuff um, my auto pass contract went under which was pep boy so it was a rough time guys during that time but 
I made it work. Trust me, I made it work. I start. That's when I hopped on Angie List and was doing like jobs and stuff and uh, all types of stuff. I explained that in the last video. We hopped on Empower and stuff like that. We made it most definitely work. Um, but just wanted to say that. Don't discourage. I just wanted to say that part. Don't get discouraged off buying a van, a used van off of uh, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or offer up. Um, especially, just just ask, hey man, what you been doing with this van? Uh, you know, check for leak stuff like that. Um, used vans do have a higher percent chance of you know like something going wrong. Now I can tell you, engine transmission wise, nothing wrong with that van. I'm I'm saying it was probably like it's it's a sensor. I know I killed the starter, um, and I'm thinking. And went in a limp mode uh, due to the tune up and stuff. I'm not don't being uh, done correctly. Um, so don't get discouraged. You don't have to buy no sixty thousand dollar van. You don't have to buy no fifty thousand dollar van. Now, don't want to make this too much talking. Don't want to make this video too long. But I do want to give y'all the game plan for the next thirty days. That van will be getting fixed. But what I've learned and what the notes that I have taken off my notepad and screenshots that I took it off my phone, um, that will be the secondary vehicle. Um, I want to get a, another Dodge Caravan. Go watch this video right here. That's the same Dodge Caravan that I did the VHO route in, that I was doing VHO routes in, that I started uh, Walmart Spark. Uh, I was doing a lot of, you know, oversized lows and stuff when the Walmart Spark was booming. Walmart Spark is still good, but it ain't as good as it was. Like, you guys know what I'm talking about. The ones that has been doing Walmart Spark for a good little while. A long time, let me just say that. Um, I want another Dodge Caravan, guys. Stow and go. And I don't want no other van. I want a stow and go. It got to be an 09 and up. So with that being said said for the next 30 days i'm setting my goal on apps and i'm saying on apps so we, we could keep track on it i don't want to do no side jobs y'all yeah, be like oh i fake fake the the profit on the side jobs or anything i could i could include my little dip my little paint stuff that i'd be doing but i'm not going to do that we're going to do on app sixty five hundred dollars 30 days we got 30 days guys um so that means we got 30 days to make the money and then after that a week to get me a to stow and go dodge caravan i want to use that as my first vehicle and i want to use that as the secondary vehicle for the christmas trees fall is coming up we got leaves about to drop um i'm still do uh moves i got a lug on the way lug is on the way we got Simpax. We got that'll be the secondary vehicle, guys, because everything that I've been seeing the last past three days in my market don't require nothing bigger than a stow and go or a city transit that's paying something. Um, on freight, the mid size loads are paying great, but the cargo van loads are paying good, but all the cargo van loads are nowhere near my house. And I'm not, I'm not driving to Fredericksburg for $53. I'm just not doing it. Um, it was a $53 load for like four miles, but Fredericksburg, nowhere near my house. Um, and by the time I drive to Fredericksburg to wherever I got to go to, I could have made $53 staying right here. So we are back in the raft, guys. I had to go get it back last night. Shout out to my guy. Um, he's making some good money up off me, though. But shout out to my guy because he's a lifesaver. Let me say that. Somebody that I trust, somebody that I know that the car good, and somebody that, you know, work with me. So, um, yeah, that's the game plan. Thank y'all for watching. Um, updates on the van will be posted whenever the van gets fixed. Uh, my father coming over here now. Probably gonna call AAA to tow it to where we go tow it at. We go most definitely take it to a new mechanic. And uh yeah. Let this be an educational video. And like I said, we are going for sixty five hundred. We got thirty days. So the next videos y'all will see me um either flipping back to here 
or if the cargo van back running to the cargo van, but we will be mixing it up. And I think I've made fair ride share a little too early. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. One, two, three, four.